Ustream is on and if you have any trouble or you are having wrong distance you can always go to Ustream you can help yourself from there and uh, you can also go to Twitter you can just click Christine Isigi you can Twitter me there it is on it is on everywhere you uh, Facebook it's on if you are in Facebook you go to my page you will see it is on go to Christine Isigi Facebook you will see it is on it's, it's on you can see me from there welcome welcome once again today I'm going to talk no weapon formed against your prosperity all your money or your finances in the name of Jesus let's let, let's pray father in the name of Jesus as I come before you before your presence to thank you wonderful father you are God we worship you this time this time that Jesus the whole world is remembering you what you did we thank you for your sacrifice. We thank you for your you that you were sacrificed because of because of us. We thank you that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We thank you that God, no other name than your name Jesus. I thank God so much and I give you all the glory. I thank you, Lord, because you are God who does not change. You you love us so much. I love you, Jesus, as I worship you. We thank you. We glorify your name. I commit each and everyone that who has come to this prayer line and you stream, even those who are coming, I commit them to you, Lord. Lord, I pray, let your presence come upon them, God, in the name of Jesus. My God, I bless you and I thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. <coughs> Amen. Once again, I thank everyone that you have committed yourself to be in these five days praise, uh, attacking the enemy that is attacking your finances. And as the heaven is opening, it is opening to receive your blessing. It is true. Heaven is open. It is it started open Friday up to Monday midnight. It's when it's going to close again. So you take, you take advantage of these blessings of God spend some time to pray and and ask god at what you you've been looking for yesterday i promise I, I i think yesterday the other day i told you that we are going to 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 pray over the water still we are not doing anything about the water we are we will do them tomorrow sunday i'm going to pray for the water tomorrow so that you can drink and also i'm going to pray for your prayer request i know you have prayer request if you don't have you are welcome to write them and tomorrow we are going to represent them the angels of god is going to pick the, your prayer request tomorrow so be prepare them and i will write uh, Teresa, remind me call me early to remind me and write down everything that i say so that you can remind me everything because i have so much i may forget something hallelujah okay. yes thank you so much yes let's go to the word of god i have so much to share and I want you to listen and give me attention. Attention, uh, attention really, really. Don't mix yourself. Don't let any distraction to come upon you. Because it is very sensitive. And this is where the enemy is going to, 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 to bring this, to, to make you to lose, to miss something. I'm going to, to show you some weapon that the enemy is using against your life, against your finances, against your health. So that's why we are going to, to read the Bible from the book of Isaiah 54, verse 17. Sister, my dear sister, you, you, you are so good. You, you read like angel. You are another one. I bless you and I pray for you. Read for us, please. Thank you so much. Okay. Isaiah 54, 17 reads, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that ri shall rise against thee in judgment Thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Bible is saying, no weapon, no weapon 
No weapon. What does that mean? No weapon. No weapon formed against. Formed against means that specifically weapon can be formed against a particular place, individual, or illustration. When the Bible says no weapon, it means there is a weapon that can be formed. There is a weapon. That's why the Bible is talking about there is a weapon. So this weapon can be individual, can be a place, can be placed anywhere. Because there is a weapon the enemy is using. That's why the, the Bible is telling us no weapon. No weapon can be used. No weapon can be formed. If there was no weapon, then the Bible cannot talk about the weapon. Which means there is a weapon. So another important word to note here is prosper. It means that if the weapon is correctly used by the enemy, it will prosper. You see, the weapon, the, the, the other name says prosper. So if the enemy can use that weapon properly, it can prosper. That's why when it prosper, it attack your finances. Prosperity is money of course, wealthy, rich. So when the word says prosper, which means it is going to prosper and take your wealthy and take your blessing and take everything from your life. So, so it, it, it is impossible for the enemy's weapon not to prosper. So we are going to attack this enemy, not to prosper any area in your life. If it is sickness, it will not prosper. If it is poverty, it is not going to prosper. Anything in your life, it is not going to prosper. Anything that the enemy, any weapon the enemy has used in your life, it is not going to prosper in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. No tool, no tool formed against you shall accomplish it is mission no tool no weapon that will be formed against you will accomplish will accomplish its mission it will not function it is not going to work in the name of jesus anytime the enemy is using any weapon i command them by the power and the blood of jesus to be destroyed in the name of jesus that's why the bible says in isaiah 16 that they, they, they say Western that has been formed to destroy them because the, the Bible is talking is saying that there is a weapon and the, our God has formed another Western to destroy them so when God is saying so we am happy that they, this their weapon of the enemy will not prosper it was prospering when we didn't know but now we know so when we know what are we going to do we will fire we will fight so we we'll use the weapon of God that will destroy their weapon in Jesus' name. But I'm going to show you more weapons so that you can be aware. When you see this weapon, you don't have to take for granted or to choke. You will know this is an enemy's weapon. There are enemies many trying, but they will never succeed. The enemies may, may try, but they will never succeed. They will try to use that, those weapons, but they will never succeed. You must address this destructive satanic weapon that has destroyed so many lives and unfortunately are still destroying so many. When these weapons are destroyed, outstanding, this will happen. You can also mean that they are planning to stop is star from shining they they can use the weapon to to stop your star to shine now because the enemy is really 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 after the star when a child is born like this or when the child is going to born the witchcraft they know they will know that if they say child is going to to be to be born who is worthy who is coming to help the community or coming to help the the world because of that and then they target the stars they make that they will they will send a weapon that will go and destroy the star 
many 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 stars have been destroyed by this weapon so because god has told us no weapon formed against you shall prosper and they would not prosper because god has said he has formed a western and a satanic rope fashioned against you i command them to receive judgment of god i command them to receive judgment of fire of god in the name of jesus and a satanic rope fashioned against you against your life against your children against your family against your business i command judgment of god to fall upon them in the name of jesus christ Amen. Every evil gathering against you, I command them to be scattered. You know, this, this, this enemies, they are Amen. not alone. Always enemies, they are not alone. Look at the Isaiah, third Isaiah 6, uh, verse 15. Verse 16, he said, they gather together. They will gather together. Yeah, they gather together. They, they are not one. They are many. They can't come to you one. Always they work with the group. So, Wherever they gather together against you, I con, I con, I con, I con, I con, I con, <laughs> hallelujah. Um, I condemn them. Amen. I condemn them. That, that's what the Bible says. You see, the Bible says, I saw, that is, that's, that's verse 17. I saw 54. I say, you will condemn them. Therefore, I condemn them in the name of Jesus. Every, every evil gathering against you, I command them to scatter in the name of Jesus. I condemn them Amen. right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Another weapon we are going to look into is this a weapon called the weapon. The, the, another weapon of the enemy is the evil broom. You know the broom? The broom is very dangerous. It's, it's a very dangerous. They use to fly and they used to, to sweep your, your blessings. When they put the broom on the floor, they sweep it and they, and they take it everything from you. So the witchcraft, they use the, the broom. That's why I said, please be careful and listen very carefully. Or you can write, or if you don't write, uh, I will bring this uh, video sometimes tomorrow. Then you can view it. The broom. So the broom, the broom is another weapon. A witchcraft broom is also used to sweep good things away from people's life. For example, marriage, money, house, children, etc. So, this weapon, the, the witchcraft use them to sweep away your money, to sweep away your marriages, to sweep away your children. Those are the witchcraft. They use those weapons. Lay your hands on your chest and pray like this. Every satanic broom working against me, lost by fire. Pray, pray like this. Pray every satanic broom working, working against me. Working against me. Roast by fire in the name of Jesus. Roast by fire in the name of Jesus. Pray again. Every satanic broom. Working against me, roasted by, roast by fire in Jesus' name. Roast by fire in the name of Jesus. Every satanic broom working against me. Every, every satanic broom working against me. Roast by, by fire, fire in, the in the name of Jesus. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Okay, that is the the first, the second, the third. Now we are going to look for the fourth. The fourth weapon, the condom, the condom, the condom, or the pot. The weapon of the enemy is what the Bible calls evil condom or evil pot. This has been explained in uh, in the in the in the book of uh, Malak, Ma, Ma, Mika three verse three. The book of Mika three verse three. Sister, open there and read for us. Okay, Mom Christine. So, what was the what was the chapter, Micah? Yeah, three, first three. Okay. Yes. All right, that's coming right now. Okay. So this 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 is this is the weapon. 
the, uh -huh. the, the, the other weapon the enemy is using is called Cameroon or evil pot and we look at it how they, they are using the evil pot okay so okay. Micah 3 verse 3 yes reading mm -hmm. yes who also eat the flesh of my people and flay their skin from off them and they break their bones and chop them in pieces as for the pot <laughs> and as flesh within the cauldron. Hallelujah. You see the weapon the enemy is using? Can you repeat my sister? Read it, read it again. Who also eat the flesh of my people and flay their skin from off them. Flayed and they break skins. their skins. Flayed their skins from off them and their flesh from off their bones. You see that that how how the, the 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 enemy, the weapon the devil is using to eat your flesh. Yeah, they eat human being. When they start eating you, you can't have anything, my sister or my brother. You cannot have anything. You can't have money in your pocket. You can't even have a job because you are sick. How are you going to to? Sister, re repeat that scripture for me again so that people can understand. If you don't read your Bible, you let us read for you. And go and read by yourself. That is another okay. weapon. Another weapon of sickness. They will put the sickness on you. And then you will start sick. You, 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 the body, you lose weight like, like something else. You mm. lose weight. You lose weight. They eat your flesh. They eat your bones. Your bones is k -k 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 -k. You feel pains like somebody is beating you. Those are the ones they use. When you are sick, when you are suffering like that, there is no way you can do anything. You become helpless. You, be, you become disabled. Yes, sister, go ahead. Okay. Who also eat the flesh of my people and flay their skin from off them, and they break their bones and chop them in pieces, as for the pot, and as flesh within the cauldron. <laughs> yes, you heard people saying they have bone uh, can uh, cancer. They say he has bone cancer or, or bone something, sickness, sickness in the bones. Yeah, those are the demons. Those are the people needs me to go and lay hand on them and cast out those demons. So anybody is having any sickness in the bones. Those are the, the, the weapon the enemy is using to attack people. That the, everything it is in the Bible. That's why we need to really to read our Bible and come against those because no weapon, no weapon of the enemy shall prosper in your body. Those weapons that they are using, which they are using to attack your flesh and your body, it is not going to function. I command them, wherever your bone is in pain, anything the, the enemy is eating your bone, the bone, the bone in your joint, in your, your oil that makes the, the bone join together. Those are the enemy like them. They like to eat them. Even holy people, you can hear them crying. The, their bones, their body is gacking. Those are the ones eating them. So when they eat you, you suffer. You can't do anything. So those are the ones the Bible says they will not function. They will not function in your body. They will not function in my body in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My son David was having some problem, and I know that is the weapon, the weapon the enemy is trying to, uh, to, uh, to, to send to him. They sent some, several times the, 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 those, that weapon to attack him. But I, I, I saw him twice, three times. He was crying. He could not work properly. And I said, you cast out your demon. Cast out that demon. You don't need to go to hospital. And then he called me and said, now I think uh, I'm going to hospital now. I said, no, 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 you can't go to hospital. I stop it. He said I can get testified. Dev? Dev? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> tell me, can you yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, I've been delivered from the demons, you know. They want to stop me from walking and prosper, you know. So because of prayer, you know, I've been delivered. So I'm, I'm free. So God is good. What happened? When they tried to, uh, they sent arrows to my feet. I couldn't move, I couldn't walk. And because, you know, when I called, you told me to pray and don't go to any hospital. And then you pray. And then after you pray, now 
you know, I didn't have to go to any hospital so I could walk, you know. But they tried to stop me from walking. More than one time they do it, try to do it. But because of prayer, the hour was sent back to the sender, you know. Amen, amen. That was a weapon they used to attack you so that you don't go to work. You lose your money. Yes? Yeah. When we when I when I told you that this these are the demons, they, they will not function in, in your life again. I commanded them they get out and you you you, you, you didn't go to the hospital, you were healed and, and you came to, to Yeah, I was healed, yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you so much. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So it uh, this weapon they can this condron or a pot is a per, a very powerful instrument of witchcraft. You cannot find you cannot find a witch doctor who does not have a pot. This condron people's lips are cooked spiritually for demonic for demonic to affect them. There is no witch doctor or a witch witch doctor or a witchcraft does not have a pot. That's why some pots you are keeping in your house, you must know where they came from and, and what are they doing in your house. What kind of pot do, do you have? Because some pots, they, you may think it is a decoration or it's just the flower. It's like using flowers, but some of them, they are very bad. They are dangerous and they are dedicated to the enemy. And they can be your great enemy and you don't know. So those pots, you have to be careful. They can, you can cook yourself those pots in, inside your, yourself. When the enemy comes, they get the, the, them and start cooking you and your children. So you, you fight the enemy outside and the enemy is inside. So it is, uh, it is used to pollute lives, cause death, pollute knowledge and destroy marriage. When a person is, is, is a dream, find himself sleeping or dreaming, it is manipulation through an evil conjuring. So it is manipulation through evil condom. When you find yourself being sleeping, dreaming, manipulation. So they use that condom pot to, to manipulate you. When they manipulate you, they can tell you anything you follow them. They control you, manipulation. Manipulation, they, they control you speaking on that pot and they cook you. Now you, you don't have anything to say. You cannot say no. You don't, your mind is being cooked. So you can't, you follow. If a man come to you, you don't have, you don't have, you don't have a heart or you don't have a, that feeling to say no, I don't want. You just say yes, yes, let's, let's go. <laughs> you just follow the man or a woman. They are very bad. Yeah. So, which is as a, a condron, condron, for every city in the country that try to manipulate everywhere, everyone lives in that city. You remember the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel 11, what it says, sister, go to Ezekiel 11, verse 11. Hallelujah. So this country, they are everywhere in every country, every city. There are some special wicked people, wicked counselor, evil people, cooking the country of the city, cooking the money. That's why I want to give you a testimony now. And this testimony, it is evidenced for sure. It is, it is working. I have been talking about the computer, how the computer has been giving me problems. Because the computer has been attacked, the enemy has been attacking the computers than anything. Wherever I want to start doing the work, it comes and attacks them so much. So... I prayed the computer and I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I did everything. Then I said, let me take to the uh, technician to go and check again what has happened. I took the computer to Best Buy because they, 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 are, they, are, they are very good uh, techn uh, technician. So when I went there, the te technician came and looked at look the computer for almost a half an hour, shutting it, opening, setting and doing everything. And then she, then he told me, Mom, your computer has no problem. Then I said, no problem, yes. I, what I prayed is that the enemy that is stealing my money, I command you to die. You cannot steal my money. You calendar, 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 the, 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 the enemy that is timing calendar money, 
every paycheck, pay this this enemy is there to steal is to steal your money. Yeah. Using something like computers, using something to rob you. Those countries in the city, which club who are in the city, they are the one who are responsible to chant and speak and say, break their computer, break their cell, let their cell, cell phone get lost, let them seek, let they, they chant and speak evil against you, against your property, against your car, against so that you can you can you, something can can happen, then you your money, you can spend money. And you know they are the ones who owns the stores. They are hired there because they own the stores. So they have some evil people who are chanting and speaking so that something can happen. Then you go to buy those stuff from their stores. That's how they do. They have their weapon. But their weapon is not going to function. I am commanding them by the power and the blood of Jesus. Whatever method they are using, it is not going to function in Jesus' name. Let's look in the book of Ezekiel, verse 11, verse, verse 11, chapter 11, verse 11. Sister, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, can you... Ezekiel 11? Yes. Yes. Ezekiel 11, 11 reads, This city shall not be your cauldron, neither shall ye be the flesh in the midst thereof, but I will judge you in the border of Israel. Say again, read again. This city shall not be your cauldron, you are cauldron. neither shall ye this be... Shall not be, hallelujah. This city shall not be your condron. You see? So God has said this city, because the city is his God, you cannot let the witch to with your city. So we are going to issue some curses against them. The Bible says condemn them. The Bible says prophesy against them. That's why I am here to prophesy against such a people, wicked people who are turning the, the, the city to be witched. Who are turning your your life to be to be witched, bewitchment. So you will be rich. You are going to prosper. Wherever they have been attacking your finances, you will be free. You will prosper, prosper indeed, in the name of Jesus. So the Bible is declaring, say it shall not. What does it say? It says, it says what? This city shall not be your cauldron. That's what he said. It is not the one to be. You cannot do that. <laughs> you understand? That's what the Bible not no, it's not me say so. So when I'm bitter and I'm very serious, that's why I am talking like that. So some people they think I'm so rude. How can I be rude? And how can I be happy when the city is being polluted by witchcraft? How can I be happy when you yourself you are suffering day and night? You don't you are not happy, you don't have anything. How can I be happy when other children, when other women have children in, your, in their hands and you, you have none, you have no husband, you have never been married. What's wrong? And God says he created man and a wife. He created two, two, two. You've never married. Some, some women, some men, they never married. They are 50 years, 20, uh, uh, 30 years, 40 years, never been married. How can I be happy? And they say, talk nice. I'm not the one to talk nice to the enemy. I will condemn them and speak big, big words. I'm one to use big curses against the enemy. So you love me the way I am. I'm not rude to you. I'm rude to the devil. And I'm not rude for, to you. When I speak, don't think that I'm rude. I am really angry with the enemy. I'm not happy what the enemy is doing. And God has given me authority and the power to come against them. Therefore, I am not afraid of them. I will come to them and destroy them. They are not going to stay in your life in Jesus' name. I'm going to run them from your house, from your, your workplace, in the name of Jesus. God has given me authority. He has sent me. He has sent me to come and, and, and condemn those powers that you don't know how to condemn them. So, hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. This means that the city... A city can be the country of a person. Any time the person enter the city, he is cooked spiritually. Another city can be a country of a, such a person. We are going to pray a little bit for yourself. You, you see, a city can be a country of a person. When you enter that city, nothing will work for you. Because the country has been placed there. 
the witches has programmed some stuff against you. So you work, work, work like elephant, but you eat like an ant. That's the lie of the devil in the name of Jesus. Pray like this. Pray this city, Brampton, where you live, wherever you are living, if it is Mississauga, if it is uh, Toronto, anywhere in the world where you are, say, this city, I am in Brampton, so I will put Brampton. So any city you are, say, this city, you shall not be my country in the name of Jesus. This city of Brampton, you shall not be my country in the name of Jesus. Not be my what? My country. In the name of Jesus. I command every evil cook. Cook yourself in the name of Jesus. Every evil cook. Those who are cooking you. I command them to cook themselves in the name of Jesus. Let them turn and start cooking themselves. Whatever they are doing against you, let it turn and start cooking themselves in Jesus' name. So, we have another weapon called altar. This altar, we'll talk tomorrow. We are going to talk about the altar tomorrow. So, let me try to talk about a little bit if I can manage, but we have so much. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk about the altar, satanic judgment, spiritual burial, I'm what I have so many uh, weapon weapon I'm going to share with you before this Easter this before Monday so that we can take away this weapon the enemy is using against your life against your 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 children against you in the name of Jesus hallelujah praise the name of Jesus God you are so good let me pray let me pray for you so that we can finish. I don't want to keep you for, for long. Hallelujah. 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 Let every anti-prosperity altar fashioned against you be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray every, every anti-progress altar against your people i command thunder fire of god to destroy them i know there's a pot there's there's altars there's evil power of the enemy there's weapon that the enemy is using to destroy your people now i'm i'm, I'm coming i'm coming against those weapons by the power in the blood of jesus the broom they are using it i set them fire those dream i those those brims broom i set them fire in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus Christ, I command every power chasing away your blessings be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. I command every power chasing away your blessings, that broom sweeping away your blessing. When they are sweeping your blessing, I command them to be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Especially that broom, wherever they are using, if they are using for flying, if they are using for sweeping away your blessing, I paralyze them. I paralyze them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that every, every business and the career that this broom is used to sweep away, that your career can be nothing. You have a career, but you are not using your career. You are a doctor, but you are not using your doctor. You are doctor. You are not using doctor. You are you, you are doing something else. Those those enemies that is doing taking away your career, I command them to die and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, I take authority over and over to bind every strong man of financial failure in your life. I command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I bind them. I bind every strong man that is binding your finances. Every strong man that is attacking your finances. Every strong man that is holding you, you part one, I command them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. You that is strong man, even attacking your dreams, even attacking good things that is coming, I, I speak the word of the living God 
by thunder by fire you that is strong get out of that person now get out and out in the name of jesus you strong man holding this person i speak against you the word of god is against you let judgment of god fall upon you and destroy you you demon you financial demon i cast you out in the name of jesus out 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 you will not steal you will not take anything from you from these people from the from the people of god in the name of jesus we have discovered you you will not be stealing anything from from us anymore in jesus name you spiritual robber you spiritual robbers i am condemning you your time is up die in the name of jesus i command you your time is up enough is enough you've been uh, pressing this person you've been pressing this person today I come against you and I command you demon of finance get out and out in the name of Jesus you will not prosper you are weapon and destroy them in the name of Jesus father I thank you and I bless your name I command every demon of sickness that you are eating the flesh of any person sickness you are putting in the body of anyone I command the fire of God to destroy them get out of that body in the name of Jesus demon of sickness de wherever you are any part of, you, the, of, the, of the body. Remember the body is the temple of God. Where Jesus Christ is living and the Holy Spirit is living. Therefore you have not permitted. You have no permission to stay in that body. I am speaking against you. Get out of that body. Get out in the name of Jesus. Demon sickness. Get out. Jesus Christ was, was paid all the sickness. You shall not have any sickness in the head. Wherever you are hiding. I am sending fire. Of God, Holy Ghost fire, paralyze those sickness and render them powerless in the name of Jesus. I am speaking now against it. anything that is hiding in your body, anywhere, anywhere. I am speaking to them. I'm sending fire. Let fire of God come upon them and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I give you the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Amen. Tomorrow, we are, we are, we are going to have, we will have uh, longer. We are going to prepare tomorrow. We might have one hour. So, we'll do the order and the prayer request. And I'm going to try to prophesize a little bit. And, but um, I want, I will target this, this weapon until we finish in time before Monday. So, Monday will be finished this weapon. And we know for sure that we will have a testimony. God bless you so much. And you can call me if you don't have my number. Still, you can have my number, 647-608-5207. Call this number. Don't call the other number. I see people calling me the other number because I don't use the other number. I am using this one. It's for the ministry. So if you call me the other number, maybe I, it's not here. I, I, it's, uh, it's in, in the, I, it is not, I don't have that number. So use this one. Six, call you me. have 647 647 608-5207 so sometimes people use that one and that one because I don't want distraction I want to have one phone that I can answer people then when I check the phone I found so many missed calls and I told people to call the right number so please call me the right number that's when I can see your call and I can return, return very quickly okay have a good night. See you tomorrow, 9.30. Oh, sorry. Uh, 2, 8.30. <laughs> yes. 8.30. 8.30. Everybody, you have to come prayer right? at 8.30. God bless you so much. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.